As an ANSYS partner since 1984, we are highly committed to helping you design, simulate, and succeed. In this video, I'll show you how to select nodes by ID number in ANSYS Mechanical. Here you have a model of a disk in 2020R2. Uh, this model has already been meshed, and if I use the node selection filter, you can see that I'm able to select the nodes on the surface of this mesh. So if I can select this node, um, there's some information that's printed out on the bottom of the screen. So you'll see I have a node ID number, location. And if I select this bar down at the bottom, uh, it pops up with a table that has that same information. So you see, again, the coordinate system of that node, the body that that node is associated with, and then what we'll be talking about in this video is this node ID number. So this number is a really important identifier for that node, and this is what will be printed to the screen, say if you have some error message associated with the geometry, maybe it'll reference a node number. And oftentimes what we want to do is take that node number and identify where it is in the geometry. And so this video will look at a few different methods for how to do that. So the first method is under the display annotation preferences. There's an option to toggle on node numbers. So if I select that, hit OK. Now you'll notice that I get all of my node numbers printed to the graphics window. So this 2824 node ID number corresponds to this ID that's printed here next to that node. Oftentimes, though, it's a bit tedious to go in and try and locate where the numbers are just visually. So what we can do is create a named selection. If I right click on name selection, insert a new name selection. Uh, the scoping method by default is set to geometry selection. I can also change that to worksheet mode. And then I have the option to add a new row uh, for the entity type. I'll select the mesh node. The criterion will be the node ID, and we'll set that equal to a value of, uh, in this case, we'll look for mesh ID number 3000. Once I hit generate, you'll notice the name selection appears, and I can identify where this node is in my geometry. Here you see, again, node number 3000 uh, associated with that name selection. Another option for generating that name selection is if you go to the select by mesh by ID. This will pop up this little window and this is just a, a quicker method to do essentially the same thing. So you can type in the value of the mesh node you want to create a name selection for or if you just want to select it you can do that too. So we'll go ahead and see where that node is in our geometry. We have to select it here. So it looks like this node is maybe internal to our geometry. So if we want to locate where that is, uh, we can change the display style to wireframe. And now we see here again that we have that internal node number 200 that we've selected. So this concludes the informational video on selecting nodes by ID number in Mechanical. If you found this video helpful, I hope you'll check out our other videos for more ANSYS tips. Thanks for watching. Contact us today to discuss your unique physics challenges and find the right ANSYS tools for you.